Good morning, guys. How are you today? Uh, and welcome to another vlog. Thank you for coming on to the channel. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, comment, subscribe. It's the, oh, it's the hubby in the hallway. Oh, my bad. What the? I didn't know that it turned the camera. There we go. <laughs> but, um about to get dressed we are gonna go on a day date um we are gonna go to barnes and noble and then we're gonna go to um texas roadhouse which we've been going to longhorn and today we realized that it opens at 11 so we said why not go there because we always go to longhorn so oh my gosh my eyes are so irritated this morning but anywho, I got my clothes laid out. Um, I'm just wearing a chill graphic tee with some tennis shoes, you know. And then I'm bringing my Barnes & Noble tote bag. Oh, I put it in the bedroom. I'm wearing the Barnes & Noble tote bag. Um, just in case I buy a book or magazines, I have my tote bag with. Plus, it was cute. I got it when I signed up to be a Barnes & Noble member. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was last minute. We just decided this last minute and I'm excited because I've been wanting to go out to eat like to like one of the road houses or a nice restaurant um, and I'm glad to be going so <sighs> but yeah I'm just gonna get dressed do my hair. I'm just gonna do a slick back ponytail y'all know the usual um, slick back pony. Um, and then I'm gonna come home and do some more business stuff. Your girl got some big things coming. I'm so excited I'm um, not gonna really get into detail until the stuff gets more established, but I'm very much super excited I've been having a super productive last few days and It just it makes my heart so happy, <laughs> but um, Yeah, let me get myself together, you know put some water on this face and do this hair and yeah just start to look presentable so I'll come back in a second I thought I was recording I wasn't even recording I don't know why I keep doing that I need to pay attention to the flashing red light but we're gonna put on an eye mask while we're waiting because we still got about 45 minutes before we gotta leave so there we go so we're gonna do Use you guys as a mirror again. I'll stay using y'all as a mirror. Here we go. Let's set a timer for 15 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes. Mm, there we go. But we got the rose mask going. This one feels like it's sliding. Uh, Alright, but yes, gonna go to Barnes and Noble, gonna go out to eat. And just hopefully have a chill day. Um, the hubby sore, so. Okay, I'm back, guys. I am just hand sewing a hem back onto the shorts that was coming off of the hubby shorts. And I finish this, and then we'll be leaving here soon to we'll be leaving here soon to um head out on our day date so I'm excited oh my gosh this is all the way down oh my gosh honey how'd you get the hem ripped all the way to the end definitely gonna need some more thread I thought it was just I don't know how to use a sewing machine you guys so I'm literally 
hand sewing. That's how I was taught how to hand sew um, these shorts. <laughs> I've made my daughter clothes when she was younger, hand sewing them, making skirts and stuff. And I don't do it as much because of the arthritis in my body and stuff, but still could do the trick. Still does the trick. Oh my goodness. Like, the layer of the basketball shorts, like this part, this is what came off on the other side. So I'm just sewing it back on. And I'm getting it. I probably went about two inches down already, but there's probably like four inches to go. <laughs> But let me sew this and yeah, I'll see you guys when we're on the road, okay? We are inside of Barnes & Noble. We're grabbing a few magazines, but... Oops, excuse me. Um, but I'm looking at Legos now, just to see what they got. Oh, I got some more Mario ones. I like the Mario ones. But y'all know I had to come back to the Harry Potter section. Uh, let's see. Magical year at Hogwarts. Oh, that's so cool. For like Christmas at Harry at Hogwarts. Which is that? $25. Stuff is expensive. It's like I kind of want a Lego set, but I kind of want to wait. There's some other stuff I do want to get first. 67, that's not bad. This way. They have like dowels and stuff. It's so cute stuff. Oh my gosh, this bag is so cute. I love this bag. How much is it? 70 bucks. 70 dollars for that. That's so nice. What are these? 8 PO washi tape. Hmm. Coloring book. Some wands. They got some really cute bags. Some really, really cute bags. Have a bunch of wands. Let's see. Decorate Harry Potter. Tycon Alley. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. oh my gosh. They got some really cute stuff. They have some cute stuff. I'm not going to get anything though. Okay, all right, let's get out of here so we can go eat. What time is it? Oh, we still got 30 minutes to kill. Oh, but I don't need to buy anything. Oh my gosh, look at this trinket dish. Diagon Alley, oh, it's a pop-up book. That's so cute. not worth $75. Oh, Lupin. I don't have him. That's cute. Alright, let me go back home. We'll go back around by the hubby and because that's the only downfall about coming in here. It's be so expensive. $40 for this cup. Nuts. 
like mm -mm. no okay let's go find my husband some of these places are just ridiculous okay so we're down at Barnes and Noble obviously and we're in the car um I didn't get anything I was gonna get a Lego set but um no, none of them called out to me and as y'all saw some of the stuff there is ridiculously priced like $40 for a coffee mug who the heck would pay $40 for a coffee Amazon mug and get for 10, that's what I'm saying 15. like no and just because it's Harry Potter like y'all no so I just got Harry got me fucked up literally but I got this live off the grid magazine uh, because I like things like this because it's just getting me prepared for the life that I'm working on living right now that we're working on living right now um you know we want this this land with our house in the middle of the forest you know like you know what I mean like this is what we're working for right now so right so I like to get this because I'd rather learn now than to be learning when we get it i'd rather learn it now and know how to do it so that way when we get our land it's like second nature like whoosh, go and do that oh y'all hold on my necklaces are wrapping around each other there we go but yeah um so i like these and they talk about solar you know completely living off a of grid jarring you know using batteries to power stuff look at all the batteries like you know just you know, deal with all that stuff but when when it comes to batteries though you know even though you're living off grid you have to be mindful like that you know corrosion happens with batteries and all that stuff so you have to think of all the what ifs yeah exactly so i so i got this magazine because i like to learn i'm always watching homesteading videos on youtube um but i just you know these are physical things that i can read I just had I came across this one. Look, look at that. Look, look, look at that. That's what I'm gonna wake up to on our land. Like wake up in the morning on my horse with my cup of coffee and just me and the hubby just watching the sunrise. The yeah. I mean I know there's gonna be some areas where we really aren't gonna have to touch. It's supposed to be, you know, but we're not gonna let it obviously go like jungle, jungle like. But just a livable space. Just livable, exactly. Like I want to learn how to pickle and jar stuff, like cans and stuff, because that just saves food and like all the stuff that we grow. I can cook fresh stuff in the moment, but then stuff that I don't want to go bad, I can jar it, you know, make preserves, all that stuff, and then all the overages we can sell, and it'll help our our land, you know. We're gonna have our our farm, our um, our farm. Um, we already have the name for it and everything, so. This camera is looking pretty darn good today on this phone, y'all. I'm happy about that. But, but yeah, we, we're sitting outside the restaurant. It opens in 13 minutes, so we're just being patient. Like I said, today we're eating at Texas Roadhouse because normally we go to Longhorn. And I had just, somebody just told me, just look and see where, you know, what time they open. And on the weekends they open, um, what does that say? Text and you get a free appetizer on your next visit. Oh, the VIP club. Ooh. I'm just gonna run into my sister's job and grab some cookies because it's right across the parking lot from the restaurant that we're waiting for to open. So I'm just gonna run in, but. Oh, wall burgers. Am I going in or out? Texas Roadhouse. They got me my chokehold with this margarita. It's called the. How much was that? I don't even know. I didn't even look at the price to be honest. Oh, there's no price in here. There's no price. I don't see a price. I just see add on prices. But it's called the Jamaican Cowboy Margarita. It's Malibu rum, peach schnapps, orange, and pineapple juice with a splash of house margarita in it. Y'all come to Texas Roadhouse, try it out, margarita, it's really good. And me and the hubby, look at this. This bread and butter is so good that we ate and left no crumbs, literally. Uh, I had one. You had I had two. two. How many come in there, four? 
Oh, well, I I ate it. I ate two. But I'm starving. I literally didn't eat because I knew we were coming out here. And at this place, you get peanuts. This um, this used to be a place where you can throw the peanut shells on the floor, but since COVID, yeah, since COVID, they got this book you now. Tea for peanuts only, even though people don't listen to this, but back in the day when I came here before, you could throw it all over the floor, and then people would come through with a push broom. That's just, I just can't see going someplace and disrespect you know? Yeah, I, I, that's, that's, just that's what they were known for though. It's on your cheek, it's on your right cheek. You guys, this is what I've been wanting. I've been wanting this for so long. Blooming onion. Can't beat this combination, but I'm about to go ham, so I'll holla at y'all later. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> our food is probably up here. We are so full. But the food was so good. I think we found our new place because we loved Longhorn, but I think we love Texas Roadhouse even more. It It's so good. The vibes there was really good. Ooh, they're freaking rolls. I think I like their rolls better than I like the bread from yeah, I think it was the Longhorn. Yeah, but it, just, it tastes so much better. Like there was little things where I'm like, oh, I like, like, like the, um, the Blooming Onion. It was good, but I like the, the, onion tonion things from Longhorn better but let me show you guys where we're at Lambo Field we'll be coming over here soon one of these days because the hubby wants to get some autographs buy a helmet, oh yeah we gotta get a helmet because we're across the street from the rest center and the Don Hutchins practice fields over here I'm like can you drive through there now like it looked like you could drive to the other side, but I wouldn't even uh, want to. I wouldn't try that. It looks like a walkway. Yeah. Fuck around and get arrested. Right. Tailgate Village. Casa Migos. Yes, that's where they go and practice over here. Um, their their training camp is normally in the field back there. Sometimes they practice up here, um, but they stop doing it more up here because. People were getting going into the streets because they would put bleachers right here. So now it'd be on the other side and there's built-in bleachers back there. Hopefully we'll get to one of them, right babe? Hopefully we'll get to one of them. Oh yeah. I'm kind of love the pack is a new has a is a new love affair. <laughs> Nice. 
sleep lately. But I slept in longer today. Like I was up early and then I went back to sleep until like 6.30. And that's weird for me. But I was so exhausted from last night. So that's how it be. But um, I'm just um, getting myself together because I have a caregiver meeting this morning with my case manager for for um, me being a caregiver. I'm exhausted. I was just talking to hubby. I would love to go back to Hobby Lobby to look for some more um, holiday de decor. I don't know if I'm going to do that today though, but I would like to do that. But I would also like to go look for a kitchen table too because I'm getting a kitchen table before the holidays. For the longest time, it was just me and the hubby here and we just didn't need our big kitchen table we had and plus it was a like a higher one like a countertop height one and with the hubby when he was learning to walk and all that stuff that those chair they weren't feasible for him so we had got rid of that table and we normally just had you know like you know like the old school family style tables that go in front of your couch like we literally would have that um so i need a table something I can have especially for the holidays but also an extra place to sit do activities at you know like puzzles diamond painting um, stuff like that. I know I can do that in my office but a kitchen table will get you more space so but my thing is it has to have comfortable chairs and I know I can buy it separately but that's just too expensive to buy chairs and then buy a table when the set is so much cheaper so I think one of these days I want to go to WGNR and uh, get look at some tables. <laughs> but for today, let's knock out this appointment. Like I said, the girl is tired. Um, I just showered all weekend. Knock these this early. I like early appointments because you could just knock them out. Like I'm already up early, so let's just let's just knock it out, you know. But good morning, guys. And uh, yeah. <laughs> start incorporating that in our morning routine is to go out for some walks you know because it's a lot cooler less people and just you know with that sunrise it's perfect but gonna cool down and relax for a bit and then... hey guys i'm out and about um just going to pick up a lunch um they weren't hungry this morning so they didn't eat breakfast and a lot of times they won't they're not really breakfast people and talking about the hubby and my other loved one um i had a little yo plate 
dairy-free coconut yogurt this morning for breakfast uh, along with some pineapple flavored coconut water and uh, right now we're on our way to get some Italian food or I'm on my way to get some Italian food um, got stuff like antipasto salads chicken I got a little pizza um, so that's what we're going to get and I never did the pickup from here I've only done delivery so um, I'm trying so hard not to stop at the gas station because um, I'm down 6.4 pounds and uh, even though I dropped 6.4 pounds still having soda still um, still uh, eating snacks chips and stuff like that cookies um, it's just because I'm moving more so I'm like if I can lose pounds still eating snacks and stuff and moving more I, I'll drop down even more if I eliminate the snacks and sodas and stuff all together you know um, I do have Gatorade Zeros at home I have sparkling waters regular water um, I still have some of my coconut water left uh, you know so I still have drink options but like it's like what I would grab is like a Sprite Zero you know still it doesn't give me the calories or whatever but it's still soda you know what I mean so I don't know I don't know I'm torn I'm torn but we're about to pull up at the restaurant so uh, yeah like so much but I swear it's the containers y'all it's the containers <laughs> all right let's go home put on a movie and eat I'm, I think I want to watch Hocus Pocus I think that sounds like a good idea Let's get home, y'all. I end up coming to Quick Trip anyways because the hubby called so my bad my car connected to my phone and it cut y'all off but so I just got a Sprite Zero um, and I just got one and that's what I'm sticking with so I'm gonna go home eat this good food that we have here and just relax you know just relax I'll see you guys later. 